Hello, this is Claude, and uh, today is the uh, last video I am doing on the, the uh, Corsair K100 uh, keyboard. Uh, it's a beautiful keyboard, like I said in the previous video, and I'm going to link uh, the video uh, somewhere up there uh, where I uh, do the, um, the switch replacement and I open the keyboard. So on this video, uh, I talk about the fact that uh, one of the few things I could do to make it better, uh, which is what I'm showing today, I said that I could uh, replace the uh, the macro keys with something else. I've got some Taiho, uh, Taiho uh, uh, rubber switches uh, or keycaps. Uh, I really like that. It it works well with the keyboards better than the uh, the plasticky ABS. Uh, keycaps that come original with the keyboard. So that's one thing that I've done. That's the easy thing. Uh, another thing that is much more complicated that I'm going to show that it's possible to do is I uh, I basically ditched the big cord behind uh, the keyboard. All right, it's the built-in uh, cable that is there. It's like a six-foot cord. It's very it's it, 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 it's heavy. It's very thick. It's a dual USB that goes through that. Uh, it's uh, it's pushing everything around the desk uh, and it's just big to me it's just basically a disaster I hate this thing all right so um, I as you can see the keyboard is working just fine so I did ditch this cable and what I uh, the way I was able to do that and this is what I'm going to show is that uh, I have been using the and one of the video in my previous video I said it would be great if I could use the uh, USB pass through in order to be able to, um, in order to be able to uh, use this as the input, all right. And as you can see, this is exactly what I've done. Now it's then I'm gonna go back and now I can use this as a removable uh, input cable. So uh, this is amazing because uh, if you want to travel, you go around, uh, or you do you want to use this on your desk, you don't have the big cord like I, I did. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of stuff going on on my desk and every time I move the keyboard around the big massive heavy cord that is not flexible at all uh, It would just push everything around on my desk. So I I, I have been able to remove that So I want to just basically say uh, what I've uh, done uh, to be able to achieve this uh, This is much cleaner right now. It is very uh, easy to move around I've got now a, a three foot a USB cord graded uh, USB type A to USB type A so it goes into my hub. I've got the USB hub right there uh, So this is what I have done and something else that I'm going to show right now. This looks a little cleaner uh, But uh, if I travel which I, I do travel a lot if I want to carry bring that with me when I travel uh, I've got this uh, little USB C uh, Connector that I have here. So uh, right here It's a USB uh, type A uh, to USB C uh, and so I can carry my cable there, just bring this along, and that's it. Uh, so I don't have to carry a whole bunch of cable. So I can just bring my USB-C cable to charge my phone. So on the previous video that I linked already, uh, I do show how to uh, basically open the keyboard. And then the, there's a whole bunch of screws. You move the keycaps, 17 screws, four screws be, uh, under uh, this area in the, uh, under the keyboard. Uh, there are two screws on the top here. You cannot remove those. Uh, from the top you have to go from under while the keyboard is cracked open and it is, it is destructive so you need to know that it is destructive and the way to remove that uh, to use the pass through is uh, and I'm going to show you a diagram and I'm going to show you what uh, the footage as I was doing that basically if you look at this uh, it's a little you know uh, scribbly I'll, sh I'll tell you what it is inside the keyboard there the, the, key, the big thick cable has two inputs all right one of them uh, is uh, used to go into a, the USB pass-through, which is connected right now. And the other one is, uh, is for the keyboard itself. It goes from the, you know, the hub of this cable. And from inside the keyboard, it goes to connect. Uh, and it, it, it goes from the USB port and it goes to a little connector that plugs into the PCB. So basically what I have to do, what I had to do was to cut. And this is, there's no way back. Once you do that, there's no way back. Uh, I was able to cut the cable from inside the, the keyboard. I was able to cut the USB cable and I cut the little cable that is connected to the PCB from the keyboard. And basically I uh, used uh, 
some quick connectors and because I, I'm going to be able to completely uh, if I ever want to have this big thick cable I can always put it back so this cable I put a, a male connector on this on the USB I put the female connector it's a five connector uh, housing uh, so we'll basically cut it there cut it there and I've used uh, my regular tools my uh, engineer uh, crimping tool with the uh, little you know connectors uh, uh, what is it called SMG what is it called uh, connectors and then I did that connection from inside the keyboard all right uh, what I have done as well is I have removed uh, the cable and then within the cable in order to remove the cable once the uh, the keyboard was open I had to remove both of the sides with the RGB I had to remove the ribbon and you know, to disconnect the ribbons, remove the sides, and I had to remove also this RGB lighting in the back. This is a, a, a small stuff, very fragile, but the reason to do that was able to uh, uh, to remove the cable in the housing, able to remove that. And what I've done is uh, basically I've covered the back, and I've just put a little piece of uh, plexiglass that I cut to length, and I just put some uh, shrink uh, tubing on it, uh, shrink wrap on it, or shrink tubing. Uh, so this looks, uh, you know, uh, not that bad at all, and it seals the unit very well, all right? So this is what I've been able to do, all right? So uh, one of the uh, thing, uh, like I said, this is there, you do that if you want to do it. I'm telling you it is possible to do it. And then the two USB connectors, like I said, one is the pass-through, the other one goes into the PCB, but on the pass-through, there is a little connector on the USB pass-through as well, there's a little connector that goes and connect to next to the other bigger connector on the PCB. So my question was, is it because it, 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 the keyboard needs the power to light the RGB or something else? Uh, and uh, with everything that I've looked, I've looked at the manual. The only thing the manual said is that you can use uh, to reset the keyboard. Uh, you, uh, you, you, for example, you press, I think it's a press escape, then you connect the keyboard, keep pressing escape the whole time and then connect the uh, USB pass-through. And I think that little uh, thing in Majigi, uh, it's got the, uh, the, 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 the voltage on it, it's got the, 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 the ground as well, and uh, it's, it's a three-wire uh, three connector. And, uh, but this thing, what it does, I think the only thing it does is that it's part of the uh, reset process and nothing else. So uh, I just basically, abandoned the concept but I didn't cut it I just left it there uh, also on the bottom plate of my keyboard I've put some foam in there so if the connector move around and also when I press the, 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 the switches it makes less uh, noise uh, so it's it, it becomes sturdier uh, quieter as well so you can enjoy more the the, the switches when you click on them uh, in the in, instead of uh, the, the noise the hollow noise of the case so that's what I've done so also uh, uh, now this is uh, the uh, the little diagram it's very bad I just want to show you that it's possible if I ever want to go back I'm going to show you the cable that I have over here uh, and if I ever want to go back remove that hopefully all right the camera is going to work with me if I if I ever want to go back what I did with my little diagram I knew okay this is what I need to do so on the other side if I ever want to go back since I had the male connector here uh, I'm going to need to have a female connector here for in the future to go back to that big cable and the uh, same on the other same big cable uh, from the USB pass-through, I'm going to need to put a little mail connector. So this is exactly what I've done, and these are the uh, the connector that I've used. So regardless of what happens, I can just disconnect from under the keyboard, uh, you know, the direct link that I've made between the USB pass-through and, uh, you know, USB pass-through to the PCB. Uh, and uh, what I'm able to do after that, is uh, I'll be able to just if I want to do that we put this big cable reopen this thing remove the size remove the uh, thing there and then we put that cable there and then reset everything connect the little quick connector reset everything like nothing had happened so it just takes a lot of patience uh, some dexterity uh, and the thing that you need to know is that once you uh, are going uh, with this uh, step when you cut the cable uh, there is no uh, there's no coming back so once this is done, uh, you know, uh, this is very satisfying because it's very, it makes the desk much more cleaner uh, and it's much easier to move the, 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 the keyboard around. 
so uh, but the thing is that you need to once you cut the cable there is no returning there's no coming back if you have the, the proper tools you can do it if you don't have the proper tools uh, it's uh, it's on your own but it's feasible I've done it and I'm just uh, demonstrating that it's possible to do it all right So I uh, hope that you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, uh, please like the video. Uh, think of subscribing as well. It always gives me an indication if what I do is appreciated. And uh, the same thing uh, with the comments. I always like to hear comments, uh, especially those that say, oh, you, you don't know what you're doing and that's stupid. And then uh, you're taking a very good thing and then you screw it all up. Hey, that's my keyboard. I do with it the way I like. All right. So, but uh, hey, if you did anything with this keyboard, if you intend to do anything with it, uh, and modifications to it, some ways to improve that. Uh, I would like to hear that. All right. So thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.